hi everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time visiting welcome my name is Mot Toussaint Como this is the channel where we talk about fragrances and arts and I am doing part two of a little saga that started in my last video where I was doing my fall haul and I had purchased a fragrance what I thought was the ex Nihilo Explicit, which is, I believe, one of their latest to come out. This is a French um, perfume house. When I get the actual fragrance, I will tell you more about that perfume house. But it's a very interesting, avant-garde, modern perfume house. And I was really excited to begin to add them to my collection. So I purchased Explicit and it turned out that there was something very ugly that happened there was no perfume inside the sealed box there was essentially a soap in it so i am on my way to the store to i am on my way to the store to try to rectify the situation and i'm glad you joined me and we're going to discover what happened together so I'm wearing for my scent of the day, Darcy, and it's a primarily patchouli fragrance. It's one of the nicest patchouli fragrances that I've come across, and but it's still really nice for some for a summer day like this. It's still kind of hot, so but it opened up with lemon and um, lemon and orange blossom. And then it has rose and jasmine, so it's very sexy and elegant. And then the base is the patchouli and the white moss and some woody notes. So it's a very sophisticated fragrance. It's sweet, it's classy, it's fresh, and it's a very beautiful patchouli. So that's what I'm wearing. And we're going to head downtown and we're going to go to the store and we're going to figure out what's happened let's see so i have a very simple outfit i just purchased this from coach and let's see not sure how i can show it yeah so I'm just using my handheld camera right now. I don't want to deal with a different camera, but welcome to a mod thing. And we're going to discover <laughs> together how this one will be made right as far as the Ex Nihilo fragrance is concerned. So I'm heading to my car now, guys and i really love those rampant flowers on the on my fence i don't know what they are but this i inherited them <laughs> when we got the home but they just smell so good and it's just basically in the alley getting to my car so i just really really love them and i did a walk in the neighborhood in my last video so i'm hoping that you you see it and that you enjoy the beautiful gardens that i shared with you guys so for those of you who are into that <laughs> and for those of you who are it's, it's just really special for me to share that you guys share this moment so yeah get into my car to, to that adventure <laughs> Entering my famous Michigan Avenue, one of my favorite places in the world. <laughs> and this is where I'm going to head. It's so interesting, I have a stop sign right there before I turn to go park. I ended up parking up really far, but that's cool because I'm just going to take this and prompt to opportunity to, to kind of stroll down in the area 
and see if I see anything interesting. But I am going to take the opportunity to get you a little bit close to whatever little act to some actions as I see them. To the Michael Jordan Steakhouse. Songwriter from Atlanta, Georgia, and I've been road tripping around the U.S. street performing. I quit my job about two months ago to go full-time artist mode, so I'm here in Chicago now. I'm going to L.A. next. <laughs> so you're going to be discovered. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And it's thank nice you so meeting you as well. Sure. Very nice meeting you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sure. I'm filming me. <laughs> yes, guys, you just never, never know what you're going to get here. We just know that we're going to discover talent. It's going to be a wonderful time. It's going to be a beautiful art scene on all different type of type of art, whether music, whether colors, whether the vibrancy of the place. So I'm just really, really happy to bring this special, unexpected moment with you guys. We are about to get to the beautiful Michigan Bridge over the Chicago River. And of course, you're not going to be hanging around Chicago and not just hear jazz and jazz and jazz and jazz everywhere. <laughs> so I see a young musician playing music on the beach and of course you have a, the weddings <laughs> you name it uh. Magical afternoon in downtown Chicago. 
waterfall. So, uh, is that okay that it's going my vlog? Sure thing. Excellent. I Check have me at D-Tape Music, all social media, TikTok coming soon. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much. And again, my name is Derek Tates. That was I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. Now, I will play a love song, kind of. Well, so I'm just hanging up here, soaking into the jazz music and watching the sun shining on the water and watching the boat stand by. Okay, Maria Reyes. Uh -huh, yeah, it's right here. You can take a picture. Yes, I took a picture of it already. Picture up there. That's yes. my, um, yeah. You're beautiful and your art is beautiful. Well, thank you. Did thank you, you do your glasses too? No, no. Oh, okay. I bought them, but they match the paintings. Yeah, they? and you have the eyes for the uh, like that kind of things, right? Yeah, okay. Well, I have fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'll look a little bit more closely to your work and I'll just stop filming okay. and talk business and see. The artists are so cool. Maria Reyes. We had a nice conversation about Haitian art that she's familiar with, of course. This is not expensive. Oh. I love this one. And here is the artist, Ken Orton. I really, really like the aesthetic. The blue colors is always something very attractive to me. This artist is really good at doing rusty, very realistic. Oh my god, look at this. That's amazing. Well, I love it. I love it. I love it. So I definitely don't want any kitten to pass. So. Yes. Can you? Can I say hi to you on camera? You can, certainly. Hi, Ken. It's, it's just your work is really amazing. Really, Thank really you very amazing. Much. Yes. So, yeah. Oh my God. I'm I'm in all everything. Wow. How long have you been painting? Like absolutely all my life. Oh I mean, wow! Memories before memories. So I've, yes. I've been painting at the kitchen table with my brother and that sort of stuff. Yes. So all yeah. my life, and then I, I've taught for about yeah. years. The clear glass glasses are just so realistic. You know your the transparency of it. I taught in the classroom for a long time with them um, just like coming through one, one wall, you know, 
Yes. So we learned that if you put the objects in front of that wall and have the, all of the objects backwards, glass objects, they will appear to be transparent rather than reflective. You know, oh my God. Wow. Totally in awe. Do you do classes or workshops? Do you offer that? Not anymore. I, no, I, did, I, did, I, did, I, I stopped it. I've never seen anything like that. This is a painting. Oil on canvas. Another beautiful art. I don't see the artist here. Of course, jewelry is art. This is some very, very nice jewelry. And I'm a big jewelry person. So let's see. Flag. Oh, your flag. Yeah. <laughs> the color is stunning. She stop. Where are you from? Haiti. Oh, yeah, you said that. Yes. Uh, wow. Free to try also. Oh, yes. This is a cactus flag. Which one? The one you were, you were taking the photo from? Yeah, it's what? Cactus? Cactus fiber. Oh, well. Wow. Dyed with uh, blueberries. Oh my god, cactus fiber dyed with blueberry. And that one? That's dyed with cactus too, it's dyed with peppermint. Oh my gosh. Which one was? So it's very, very sustainable. Uh, I wouldn't know which one to get. I have some other colors. So tell me which one you think works for me. Oh, you think this one work for me? Every color works for me. Every color would work for me. But I want the color. <laughs> I think the blue. The blue. Oh my gosh. Now I don't know. You're right. You're the okay, artist. You know. Just confuse you a little more. The yellow box. Really? More than the blue. Really? Oh wow. More than the blue. Okay, okay, okay. So yellow, and let's see for the orange. It's my opinion. That one is even better. I know. I'm a big yellow and orange person. Oh my the god. Is, the, the orange is even better. Okay. You can take the two. Yeah, I'm getting those. <laughs> yes, hon. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This <laughs> way. So let me show again my. Let me show you again my colors. Okay guys, so I'm getting this from this very, very nice artist. Thank you. That will yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that one. Because everyone around thought that those colors looked really nice on me. I was attracted by this one, but they told me the yellow really laughs, so we're doing yellow and orange, because, um, so the artist, can you tell me a little bit again about the process? Okay, this is uh, fiber from cactus. Can I show you your face or just your voice? No. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Hello. I'm Hi. Deborah Kerr. Here with Maud. Maud. Yes. And uh, she bought these two beautiful uh, earrings. One, uh, they are both made out of cactus and uh, uh, suede and leather. And the cactus in one, it's uh, orange and uh, was done with um, uh, juice from. Uh, Pumpkin flowers juice. The wow. yellow one was done with papaya juice. Wow, so it's very sustainable. Yes. Yeah, I love that. You cannot eat that. Yeah, what? <laughs> so I'm in Chicago, and you guys can uh, find me at uh, Jewels.com or at Instagram. Okay. Thank wonderful. you, my dear. Yes, and then I'll write I'll write that down in the description box also. So I need your card. 
so that I can yes, remember. Yes, I will put in the package. Okay. Oh wow, that's amazing. You are the artist? Yes. Are these photography no. or? Yeah. Photography, just print it directly on canvas or I and prints matted in the package. Oh wow. Is that okay if I film them? Well, nobody. If anybody show, I'll cut that off. <laughs> yeah. Stunning. Thank you. Is that in the US or in Europe? So the castle one? is in Germany. Okay, it's, yeah. Uh, Neuschwanstein is the name of the castle. And they, they say that Walt Disney visited and that was part of the inspiration for Cinderella's castle. Yeah. Okay. It's a cathedral just like a few blocks away from Notre Dame. Okay, which one? Sainte Chapelle. Oh my gosh, I've committed a sacrilege. How come I? How you guys cannot remember it? You know, it's not Sacre Coeur. No. Not Notre Dame. No, just a few blocks from Notre Dame. Yeah, I probably, I probably visited it, but maybe your perspective I can't remember. No, you but, go, it's like back in a little courtyard, so you okay. can't really see it from the road or anything. Yeah. And then you go in, the ground floor is nothing too yeah. spectacular, I mean, it's still beautiful, right? No. But, and then you go upstairs yeah. to this, oh, wow. a little spiral staircase kind of thing. Wow. Because when we go to Europe, that's all my husband wants to do. Yeah. Go to church. <laughs> There's a lot of them, so. <laughs> Bravo, bravo. Can you sing La Vie en Rose? Vous pouvez chanter La Vie en Rose? D'accord. Oh, 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 Je connais la cause. C'est la vie. Elle me l'a dit, me l'a juré pour la vie. Il est que je la perçois. Alors je sens en moi.
I just sing with this guy. Oh my God. That afternoon does not stop. Amaze me. Je reviens te chercher. Je n'ai pas tellement changé la vie. Les passants de la rue nous ont envie. C'est si bon. Le soleil des petits. Beautiful song by Eddie Pia. Say si bon. Ce petit sensation, ça vaut mieux qu'un million. En avant, c'est si bon. Chicago scene here represented in those paintings. That's really nice. So I'm I just I'm a collector, art collector, just Asian art collector, but so I just do vlog around my art really and any other art I see around. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just really amazing the bubbles the colors so the way you capture chicago yeah. you must it's kind of your inspiration yeah i do a lot of chicago work yeah uh, you know, some more of the landmarks and yes some colors, more of the neighborhoods yes you know, yes that. yeah I love the Pearson area. I'm an economist okay. and I've done some research on Hispanic neighborhoods in yeah. Chicago. And then I did a survey of Pearson Little Village sure. to know what's going on with businesses yeah, there and so forth. Like yeah. Really yeah. Just, it has changed. It's changing too, right? Yeah. It's so fun. Last time I went there, the restaurant yeah. scene and everything was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just all really nice. I just really love the bubbles. I can imagine looking at the bubbles and not be happy. <laughs> so I'll just turn off my camera. That is Ghana. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. And I asked a stupid question. I'm like, is that Russia? No, it's Ghana. Oh wow, this is this is another it's the same scene. This is the first African artist that I'm seeing in the festival and his work is stupendous. Totally stupendous. I love the way he uses perspective here. to give depth to the composition and I like the different predominance of background color the orange the gray the green and the blue now we'll introduce you to the artist in a little bit oh I love this black and white painting right here and the way he uses movement to give depth to the composition by doing the circles with the black and white or 
black charcoal color and white. Wow. Depending on which angle you see it, you see even more dead. It, be, it looks almost three dimensional. That's beautiful work right there. I definitely want to get to know this artist better. This scene right here reminds me of homes on mountain tops in Haiti and all colorful like that. I've also seen some scene like this in um, Chile. So here is the artist's name Kwame Mansa Abowampa. I'm just a collector. I talk mostly about my art, but also I check out the art scene <laughs> wherever I go to Haiti and so forth. And just talk about that. So, would you like me to introduce you to my <laughs> viewers? <laughs> so, this is a great artist right here, Kwame Mansa Abobampa. Yeah. yeah, I was talking about this art right here how you use the movements and the color to create almost a three-dimensional composition so do you have an inspiration in this one okay i'm also raised by a single mother okay so i wanted to show my love for the love that they gave oh wow so that's why you see the mother and the child and i use this represent the frustration that they go through of all the frustration the hard times they go through the love from the mother to the child is still always with their intact yes that is why you see that i use this to, to represent the frustration the hardship that they go through during that time wow and you have some gold yes and 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 and, and the love they have will never disappear yeah to be strong all, all the time oh my god now it has even more meaning it's really Thank beautiful you. very very beautiful it's very it's not easy to find black and white painting but when you just kind of have a black and white in the middle of a lot of color then it really makes a lot of sense it makes a lot of sense i love it i really love it so i'll turn this off so that we can talk or private. Oh, I wanted to show this one too. I love this. This is a lot of work. Yes, I know. That's a lot of work. This is, this is called the Central Market. How do you call it? The Central Market. It's a market. Yeah, market. Central Market. Okay. The biggest market in Ghana. The biggest market in, in Ghana. Ghana. Is it the same market we saw over there? Yes. No, that one is that one is different from the okay. street market. Okay. Yeah, this one is a permanent market in Ghana called Central Market. Okay. The biggest over in Ghana and the fourth largest in West Africa. Oh wow. Where my mother used to work. I love that. Each of these is a person. Yes. I did notice that. Yes. Yes. First I just saw it's very big market. Very, oh my very god. Big, very crowded market in Ghana. Oh wow. And this is so it's the same market, yes, the same but, market but a different color. Oh my goodness. Because when I looked at the painting, all I saw were like the rectangular blocks and i didn't realize each of them is a person and this you know what this remind me of i'll show you the painting by prefet dufo an haitian artist and he would have like a million people in his painting but you cannot tell until if you really look i'm going to show it to you i'm going to show it to you oh wow oh wow so how much is this one is 3,000. I'm not really Kwame because I came downtown because I purchased a fragrance that was $248 at Saks Fifth Avenue. When I open it, this is what I got. So, so I came downtown to return it. And then the day turned out to be so beautiful. <laughs> And you definitely the culminating artist that I come across. 
thank you so much. Yeah, everyone is really beautiful, but it's great to see the African art here. I love this blue. This one is what? Are these fish or? No, women. Women carry something on their hair. Oh my gosh, they're yes. each a woman. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Now I see, it. you know what? Now look at that, you can see the camera picked it up yes. before I picked it up. The camera picked, you know, this up. You know, it picked up the women carrying the stuff. Look at that, you want to come look? Way before I picked that up. That's the type of art I like. You are attracted by the color and the movement and then you discover something every time you look at it. That's definitely one of my favorite here. Besides the fact blue is always relaxing, that's definitely one of my favorite. Beautiful design here. Wow, the designer is so beautiful. Wow, you are so beautiful. Hello. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you are so pretty. You are gorgeous. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, and you the designer? I am, yes. Oh my god, and you are Jennifer Aseke Bernie? Akese. Akese. Yes. Wow. That's beautiful. And she has some jewelry also made of some of the cloth. You walk in the room, you command vlogging right now so if it's okay I'll be on my vlog. Oh you vlogging? I'm vlogging. Oh vlogging sure yeah absolutely. my channel name is a mod thing. I'm hearing some French accent. Yeah it's Haitian. Where are you from? Haiti. Hey. <laughs> I'm from Ghana. <laughs> yes we all the same. Yes yes. Nice to meet you. Yeah okay. Yeah, I don't mind at all. Wonderful. So I'll check you out. Absolutely, thank you so much. What can I say, guys? The art festival was a trip. <laughs> I ended up having so much conversation with the artists, just learning so much. I did a little bit of damage. <laughs> I bought a piece which I'll reveal to you later from this African artist and when I showed him a little bit of my collection at home I think he was really proud to sort of be included <laughs> with some of the great Haitian masters so he gave me a little bit of discount and um, but yeah I ended up getting a serious art piece and some jewelry and I'm finally now going to do what feels a little bit more mundane <laughs> going to um, return that soap of a perfume <laughs> so in a bit of a hurry oh they have a little miniature of the little bean right here I've shown you that little bean in one of my videos so by now I'm in a hurry I have to go get my daughter very soon she's learning to drive and I have to pick her up and um, yes so that's been just this most incredible 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 afternoon it's always something interesting every time i come downtown and today just like every other day totally delivered on the excitement on the unexpected on the beauty on the art scene and the conversation with 
very, very nice people. So, yeah. Thanks for visiting, guys. Thanks for spending the day with me. I went out of time. I decided to... I didn't know how long it was going to take to return the fragrance. And, and I had to go and get my daughter. So... <laughs> So the saga continue, you are yet to know what happened with the fragrance soap returned. So as soon as I get a chance, I'll go downtown. <laughs> this time I'll make it a direct, direct flight. <laughs> a direct route to Saxif Avenue. And... Um, and find out how, what happened. But I went out of time. I had a wonderful time downtown, and I'm happy you spending the time. You spent the time with me, and discovered all those beautiful things. So thanks for watching. If you like my content, I would really appreciate that you subscribe and like and comments. So until next time, bye.